Tina, also known as Tina, at youtube.com slash forward is wallflower. And I'm here with Psych2Go today to talk about antisocial behavior versus asocial behavior. I'll be referring to information from the Psych2Go article, Antisocial is someone who doesn't care and violates others, while asocial is someone who doesn't like to socialize. So growing up, I actually had a lot of experience being called antisocial. I was called antisocial in the sense that, you know, I was too, like, introverted and hermit liked to talk to people, you know, I was very nervous and scared. That's actually not what antisocial is at all. Antisocial behavior is actually when you lack the conscience of your wrongful actions. So basically, it's when you do something, like, wrong or bad and you know that it's bad, but you just don't feel bad for it. Antisocial behavior, also known as ASPD, doesn't actually have an exact cause, but there are a few indicators as to what would increase your chances of having it, which would include being male, having been abused as a child, growing up with parents that have ASPD, or having parents that are alcoholic. So as you grow older, there are some behavioral signs that could indicate whether or not you have antisocial behavior, which would include cruelty towards animals, resistance towards authority, bullying, and lying. So what people generally think antisocial is, that you know, like they don't want to talk to people and they don't want to socialize and stuff, that's actually not antisocial behavior, but actually asocial behavior. So asocial behavior is actually when you don't want to socialize with people, what people generally think is antisocial. Asocial behavior is often found in people that have other disorders, including personality disorders, mood disorders, autism, or schizophrenia. So now that you know the difference between asocial and antisocial, what do you guys think? Were you someone that used to mix up antisocial and asocial behavior before? Or were you someone that used to be called antisocial when they actually meant asocial? Let us know what you guys think and all your experiences in the comments below. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more psychology myth busting and truths, be sure to subscribe to this channel at Psych2Go and be sure to check them out on Tumblr, Twitter, and Facebook. And if you'd like to see more of me, you can head over to my channel at youtube.com slash forward is wallflower. Thanks for watching.